Hello dear viewers, in this session of EPG lessons, today we will be seeing about medical textiles. Combination of textile technology and medical science has resulted in a new field called medical textiles. Medical textiles is related to healthcare and hygiene sector and is one of the most important and growing parts of textile industry. Textile materials and products that have been engineered to meet particular needs are suitable for medical and surgical applications where a combination of strength, flexibility and sometimes moisture and air permeability are required. The number of applications are huge and diverse ranging from a single thread suture to complex compost textures like bone replacement and joint replacement. Medical textile products are available in oven, knitted and non-oven forms based on the area of application. Development of medical textiles has been considered as one such development which is really converting the painful days of a patient into comfortable days. Now we shall see the objectives of this lesson. At the end of this session you will understand about the various textile materials and you will gain knowledge about these products and their end uses. Now we shall see the definition of medical textiles. Medical textiles are fibers, yarn, fabric based products whose structure are designed for use in first aid, clinical treatment of wound or medical condition, hygiene care or as a part of a human body. The major characteristics of medical textiles are non-toxicity, non-allergetic and ability to be sterilized. Medical textile should have good strength, elasticity, biocompatibility, durability and flexibility depending upon the product. As biomedical materials may be contaminated with bacteria, sterilization is important for biomedical polymers. The sterilization technique can be physical or chemical. Now we shall see the categories of medical textiles. They are divided into four. The first one is non-implantable materials like wound dressing, bandages and plasters. The next is extracorporeal real devices like artificial kidney, liver and lungs. Implantable materials like suture, vascular grafts, artificial ligaments and artificial joints. And the last sector is healthcare and hygiene products like bedding, clothing, surgical glouses, cloths and wipe. We shall see each of these sectors one by one. The first one is non-implantable materials. These materials are used for external application on the body and may or may not make contact with the skin. Some of the common implantable materials are wound care, fabrics and absorbent pads, bandages, plasters, gauze, lint and warpings. First we shall see wound care fabrics. The function of these materials are to provide protection against infection, absorb blood and exudate promote healing and in the same instant apply medication to the wound. Common wound dressings are composite materials consisting of an observant layer held between a wound contact layer and a flexible base material. The absorbent pad absorbs blood or liquid and provides a cushioning effect to protect the wound. The wound contact layer prevents adhesion of the dressing to the wound and removes easily without disturbing the new tissue growth. The base materials are normally coated with an alkalic adhesive to provide a means by which the dressing is applied to the wound. The use of healing property fibers like collagen, alginate and chitin has proved success in making medical and surgical application. Other textile materials used for wound dressing application include gloss, lint 
and warping. The types of dressing used varies based upon the type of wound and the location of the wound. The wound dressing material should be sterile, breathable and should provide moist healing environment. Next we shall see about bandages. The wound care layer is held in proper position by a bandage. It supports the dressing material and functions as a compression material. They can be oven, knitted or non-oven and are either elastic or non-elastic. Compression bandages are used for treatments to prevent deep vein, thomosis, leg ulcer and varicular veins. Orthopedic cushion bandages are used under plaster cast and compresses bandages to provide padding and prevent discomfort. The bandage can be also used on standalone basis in orthopedic cases. The bandage products consist of rolled bandage, gauze bandage, elastic or non-elastic bandage, light support bandage, creep bandage, compression bandage and plaster of Paris. Next we shall see about the next session which is extracorical react devices. These are mechanical organs that are used for blood purification and include artificial kidney, artificial liver and mechanical lungs. The function and performance of these devices are found in the facelift with use of newer fibers and modern technology. First we shall see about artificial kidney. The function of this artificial kidney is achieved by circulating the blood through a membrane which may be either a flat sheet or a bundle of hollow regenerated cellulosic fiber like hollow viscose or hollow polyester fiber in a form of cellophane that retains the unwanted waste material. The kidney dialysis machine is outside the body and purifies the blood using filter called as hemodialysis. The hemodialysis is primarily made of polysophonic and polyacetate. Multi-layer filters composed of many layers of needle punched fabrics with various density specifically designed for rapid and effective removal of waste material is used. The average price of artificial kidney is around rupees 300 per unit. The typical characteristics of these fabrics are low linting, high durability, good capillary rise, good absorbency, biodegradability and inherent behavior. Next we shall be seeing about artificial heart. Artificial heart is intended for the use in patients whose heart has been damaged and for whom existing methods of surgical invention and or drug therapy are inadequate. The device is available at rupees 34 lakhs and overall cost of the surgery as 40 lakhs. In India about 20 million patients suffer from heart failure every year hence this device would be a life supporter. Next we shall be seeing about artificial lungs. The microfibers or the membrane ox generator are the technical textile components in this device. The microporous membrane of mechanical lungs possess a high permeability of gas but low permeability to liquid and functions in the same manner as natural lungs allowing oxygen to come in contact with the patient's blood. The artificial lung device is connected to the heart right ventricular. It relays to the heart to send blood through the lungs where it receives the oxygen and offloads carbon dioxide as it flows through the address of the microfibers or membrane. Oxygen rich blood passes from this device into the left artery and then to the rest of the body. These membranes are made up of knitted high performance fibers with good strength and compatibility. Next we shall be seeing about artificial liver. 
the artificial liver utilizes hollow fibers or membranes similar to those used for artificial kidney to perform their function in this system the patient's blood or plasma is pumped into a bioactor with hollow fibers device which acts like the liver to transform human hemoatom cell line next we shall be seeing about implantable textile material these materials are used in effective repair of the body wear like wound closures or replaced surgery biocompatibility is the prime importance four key factors determine how the body react to implant textiles these four factors are the most important factor is porosity which determines the rate at which the human tissue will grow and encapsulate the implant small circular fibers are better encapsulated with human tissue than large fibers with irregular cross sections toxic substance must not be released by the fibers and the fibers should be free from surface contamination such as lubricant and sizing agent the properties of polymer will influence the success of implant in terms of its biodegradability under this we shall see about soft tissue implants the strength and flexibility characteristics of textile material make them particularly suitable for soft tissue implants a number of surgical applications utilize these characteristics for replacement of tendon ligaments and cartilage in both reconstruction and corrective surgery next we shall be seeing about orthopedic implants orthopedic implants are materials that are used for hard tissue applications to replace bones and joints this category also includes screws and planes that are implanted to stabilize fractures to promote tissue growth around the implant a non woven mat made out of graphic or ptfe is used which acts as an interface between the implant and adjust hard and soft tissue braided circular cable composed of steel filament ranging from 13 to 130 mm are used to stabilize fracture bones or to secure orthopedic implants to the skeleton carbon fibers reinforced composite structures are used to resurface uh, the detective areas and cartilage within the joints next we shall see about artificial joints The orthopedic joints are used for patients suffering from arthritis and accidental damage of joints. The artificial joints are primarily made out of titanium, stainless steel and cobalt material which exhibit compatibility with human body. The technical textile component in joints is ultra high module weight high density polyethylene. It helps to smoothen the movements of the joints. The approximate market for these joints in India is around rupees 4.5 crores. Next we shall be seeing about artificial ligaments. An artificial ligament is medical device for joining two ends of bones. The artificial ligament are made from non-woven material, man-made fibers like polyester. Artificial ligament is a multi-layer or tubular woven structure having intra-articular region with at least one bend and one end region. Each region is woven separately so as to possess the required flexibility and strength. pet is primarily used for manufacturing artificial ligament braided polyester artificial ligaments are strong and inhibit resistance to creep and circular loading braided composite materials containing carbon and polyester filaments have also been found suitable for leg ligament replacement the artificial ligament are generally subject to lot of wear and tear they also carry a risk of septic arthritis the artificial ligament market in india is small and primarily artificial ligaments are imported from netherlands and usa now we shall be seeing about the next artificial tendon these are meshes woven or braided porous or tapes 
surrounded by silicon casting during implant the natural tendon can be hooked or looped through the artificial tendon and then sutured to itself in order to connect the muscular to the bone these are meshes and used for hernia repair and abdominal wall replacement the mesh can either be woven or knitted polypropylene polyester meshes are primarily used it has to have resistant to infection pet is also used mesh for hernia and other medical requirements are manufactured using warp knitting process on double rachel warp knitting machines next we shall be seeing about cardiovascular implants Cardiovascular grafts are used in surgery to replace the damaged thick arteries or veins 6 mm to 8 mm or 1 cm diameter. Commercially available vascular grafts are produced by Polyster, PET and PTFE with either woven or knitted structures. Straight or branch grafts are possible by using either weft or warp knitting technology the grafts are implanted with either collagen or gelatin which after a period of 14 days degrade to allow the tissue to encapsulate artificial blood vessels with an inner diameter of 1.5 mm have been developed using porous ptfe tubes these tube consists of a inner layer of collagen and harpenin to prevent blood from clot formation and the outer biogreedable layer of collagen with the tube itself provides strength next we shall see about artificial vascular graft In order to function effectively the grafts need to be specially characterized like non tomobiogenic surface elasticity long term tensile strength biocompatibility durability and bacteria resistance The type of fabric used is woven or knitted based on the area of application. Most textile grafts are large medium artery replacements and make either of PET or PTF Vascular grafts are manufactured using warp knitting machines on double rachel warp knitting artificial heart valves are gauge balls valves which are made with metal studs and covered with polyester fabrics in order to provide a means for stunting the wall to the surrounding tissue the price ranges from as low as rupees 2000 to rupees 20000 Next we shall be seeing about artificial heart valves. These are implanted in patients who need treatment for heart diseases. The heart valve is made up of three parts, a metallic housing, a disc or ball which functions as oscular and a sewing ring made out of warp knitting 100% polyester. Heart valves are manufactured using warp knitting process on double rachel warp knitting machine the functions required for heart valves are minimum transvascular pressure guarantee non thermogenic low warp and tear minimum leakage approximate valve ratio the heart valve market in india is approximately rupees 74 crores next we shall be seeing about surgical sutures the surgical sutures is used for stitching together skin deformation open wounds organs and blood vessels the su surgical sutures are classified into two categories absorbable sutures these are dissolved in the body and do not require to be removed the other one is non absorbent sutures these are sterilized sutures which need to be removed after a specific time The raw materials for sutures range from bio instant tissues to polychloric acid PGA chlorogen monofilament of polyester polyethylene and multifilament of nylon polypropylene polyamide and silk
The type of sutures used varies based upon the area of application and type of medical innovations. They could be either monofilament, multifilament, braided fabrics. The general characteristics of suture thread are sterilized, high stencil strength, high knot security, flexibility and smooth passage through tissues, good portability and minimum tissue reaction. The next one what we will be seeing is contact lens. Contact lenses are typically used to correct vision, although some people wear colored contact lenses to enhance or change their eye color. Contact lenses are made out of water absorbent material called HEMA and are very soft to handle and comfort to the eyes. Hard contact lenses are made out of PMMA and are obstacle. RGP lenses and semi-rigid lenses is made out of silicon which allow oxygen to, through the eye are also available. Contact lens market in India is dominated by soft contact lenses. The next one to see is artificial coron. This is a transparent portion in front of the eye and permits light to enter into the eye. Normally crystal clear, it can become cloudy or mishappening causes reduction in vision or blindness. The polysters used in artificial current need to be biocompatible, flexible, sufficient mechanical strength. The artificial current is used with the following materials PMMA. PHEMA, PVA. The characteristics required for textiles used in making artificial coron are to withstand pressure, be transparent, have approximate curvature and have suitable reflection index, sufficient tensile strength to allow the surgical multiplication and fixation, scratch resistance. In the India, approximately 30,000 conic transplants are carried over every year. The next one to see is artificial skin. Skin grafting is a procedure of replacing dead skins with the live skin. After removing burnt or damaged skin, surgeons blank the oven with a covering before applying the skin graft on top of the new skin to close the wound. Artificial skins consist of two layers, bottom layer of real skin which is composed of a matrix of interoven biocollagen and a sticky carbohydrate molecule called as glycosam in glycocan which minimizes the fibrous pattern of the bottom layer of skin. This matrix then sticks to the temporary upper layer a medical grade flexible silicon sheet that minimizes the top apical layer of the skin. Skin grafts looks somewhat like transparent plastic warps. The artificial skin market in India is negligible due to very high cost involved. For example, a 4x4 four four inch skin patch costs about 40 lakhs. Next, we shall see the final sector of medical textiles, health and hygiene products. Health and hygiene products are important sector in the field of medicine and surgery. They are used either in operation theaters or in hot hospital wards for hygiene care and safety of staff and patients. The first one is diapers. In diapers, baby diapers are common. Baby diapers are used to absorb and retain body fluid of the infant in the period between birth and 24 months. The technical textile component of a diaper is non-oven fabric which prevents the fluid leakage and gives the diaper a desired shape. The typical product characteristics are super absorbent polymers to ensure complete dryness and to prevent growth of bacteria. The non-oven inner layer should be hydrophilic and absorb liquid fast. The cover should be breathable and an optical leg guard to prevent leakage. The baby diaper market in India are primarily imported and repacked for sale. Next we shall be seeing about incontinuous diapers. These are used by adults who are between the age of 70 and above.
These diapers are disposable single use products specifically designed to absorb and retain liquid. The diaper is typically made of absorbent materials of cellulose with polybears to convert liquid into gels. The non-oven material is placed on the top for dry feel. The adult diapers are primarily imported by almost all companies and marketed with different packages in domestic market. The diaper market in India is growing at a rate of 25% every year. The next one to see is sanitary napkins. A sandwich of observant pads between fabric sheets essentially make sanitary napkins. The technical textile component of these napkins is non-oven fabrics which prevents liquid leakage. The non-oven fabric is made up of 18 to 20 GSM and accounts for around 11 to 12 percent by weight of the sanitary pad that is around 0.95 to 1 gram per napkin. The major characteristics of these napkins are super absorbent polymers which ensure complete dryness, hydrophilic non-oven to absorb fluid fast, suck fit and breathable covers. Next we shall be seeing about surgical disposals. Surgical disposals are primarily consist of masks, caps, drapes, gowns, covers and shoe covers made out of polypropylene spun bond fabric with or without polyethylene film. Surgical disposals are used in hospitals and paramedical companies to maintain hygiene and sterile operation. These are called as surgical disposals as they are used only once. Later they are disposed in India Major hospitals use cotton reusable surgical wear which needs to be sterilized after every use. The major properties of surgical drippers are high bearing to blood or body liquid, low lint, proven sterilized performance, comfort, breathability, good bacteria filtration efficiency, Breathable resistance, slash resistance. These are consist of the masks and caps which are made out of polypropylene, spun lace, spun bond and spun bond, melt bond, spun laced fabrics. The weight of these fabrics for cap ranges from 12 to 25 GSM, for mask 25 to 40 GSM. The disposal drapes, gowns and covers are also made up of polypropylene, spun bond, spun bond melt blow fabrics and spun laced fabrics. The weight of these fabrics typically ranges from 25 to 40 GSM. Next we shall be seeing about the future of uh, medical textiles. Technical textile consumption in medical textiles is estimated at around rupees 1500 crores. The key medical textile products is surgical dressing which accounts for over 50% of the total technical textile consumption across medical textile segment. Surgical sutures account for around 21% and the total consumption followed by contact lens and artificial implants with a share of around 12 and 8 percent respectively. The non-oven fabrics in disposable accounts for 2 percent of the technical textile usage in medical textiles and sanitary napkins accounts to 1.65 percentage. In the medium term for the next five years the industry is expected to achieve a growth of 8 to 9 percent every year. Now we shall see the conclusion of medical textile. Textile materials are very important in all aspects of medicine and surgery with a wide range of application. In reality, however, in-depth research is required to engineer a textile for even the simplest cleaning wipe in order to meet the stringent performance specification. New development continues to explore the range of fibers and fabrics framing techniques which are available. It is predicted that 
composite material will continue to have greater impact in this sector owing to large number of characteristics and performance criteria required for these material. Non-ovens are utilized in every area of medicine and surgical textiles. Medical textile centers have been established to make the most knowledgeable persons, experts, existing collaboration with medical researchers, microbiologists, physiologists and textile scientists. Every country has its own regulations and standards for medical textiles. As medical textile process continues to develop, the demand for textiles also continues to grow. Growth rate of the above is average in developing countries such as Asia and Africa when compared to the western market.